Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I want to make a building, and I want to make it in code blocks. So let's get cracking. So, friends, you must click code blocks. We must click create new, and then when this pops up, we want a brand new design. Whenever we start one, we need to change the name. I'm going to do building, and I'm going to put building one because I'm going to teach you how to use this again and again and again to make many buildings friends make sure you watch the rest of this closely it's going to have some tricky stuff but it's going to be epic when we're finished all right friends so let's start with the very first piece i want you to hit modify and create new object i'm going to remind you that we never duplicate these the object that we're going to make we're going to rename and we're going to call this frame this is going to be the outside of a building we're going to make a building that turns out really cool and then you can reuse it to make many many buildings eventually in my class we're going to use it to make a sweet airport this frame is going to use variables so let's click math and we need to create these once again you cannot duplicate these we're going to make a variable called width and then we're going to make a new variable remember do not duplicate these we're going to type length and then we're going to make one more called height and i want to emphasize again you can duplicate a lot of stuff never duplicate these we are also going to make a variable called wall. Friends with these in place, let's put in some numbers. Our width is going to be 90. Our length is going to be 30. Just so you know, the length comes at you. It's on Y. The width is on X. We're going to do a height of 20. And I want my walls to have a gap of 2 on the side. So I'm going to put a 2 here. We're going to build the frame of our building with a box. When you bring out the box, open its parameters, and we're going to simply fill it with the variables. Width goes in the W box, length goes in the L box, and height goes in the H box. Simple as that. Now when these build, let's hit play so you can see this, you'll notice that it's at zero, zero, so it's halfway below. We are going to raise it up with a move but we're going to calculate how high we raise it. So go to your math, bring out the little math item. And since it's halfway, we're going to take that variable height and we're going to divide it by two and then drop that whole chunk in Z. Now I see a lot of students get messed up because they try and drop from the middle or from the right. You've got to drop from this left edge when you put these. So I always grab close to the math piece and boom, you can drop it in Z. Now when we speed this up and hit play, you can see it's at zero, zero, which is what we want. The next step is we're going to cut out walls. We are going to do that by adding another box, open up its math, and then this math is going to be fancy. So watch this closely. The first thing we need to do is take care of the walls. There's going to be one on each side. So we're going to bring out a piece of math and we're going to put it times and then we're going to find our data and we want two times the wall. Once you've got this wall piece in place, bring out another piece of math and we're going to first fix the width. So bring out your width and put it in this chunk change the math to subtraction and we're going to do width minus two times wall and we're going to put it in the width box this is going to be a hole that cuts out that wall so make sure you ch choose hole and then we've got to build this whole piece again well watch this if i duplicate i can bring it all down but we want the next one to be the length so throw out the width bring out the length once again grab near the math and the left edge goes in the length spot. You can see this starts to stretch out, so I'm going to slide this over so I can see a little more. And the last thing we have to do is the height. Now, I don't want two heights because I want the bottom cut out. So for this one, we're just going to bring out the math, find our variable for height. Remember, you can always hit the data button. And we're going to do height minus the wall. Once again, grab near the math and put it in the height box. Boom. Just like that, our frame part is assembled, even though it's pretty long. Keep an eye on your neighbors. Make sure you're careful as you build this part.
we need to move this new hole we created as well. Let's go to the move object and then this one's going to be a little fancy. Go back to your math. We're going to bring out a math piece. Remember these are half above and half below. So we're going to take the height and we're going to divide it by 2. But then we also want to lower it one so it cuts out the hole. So bring out a second piece and put minus and put 1. Now when you grab the height, remember it is the left edge goes in the hole and boom, you've just created an awesome piece of math that will raise it up, sink it one and make it ready for grouping. Let's add our create group, hit play. Sometimes I like to reset and then hit play and look underneath. You have just cut out an amazing building. Now I don't want to work with negatives, so I'm going to push this to the right. Once again, we're going to go to modify, we're going to add a move, switch back to that math, and we're going to solve this for us. We are going to move X, bring out your math chunk, and we are going to do the width, and we're going to divide it by 2. That will move it halfway across X. Reset, play, and you can see now my building is at 0, 0, which is what we want. Friends, the next part is to add windows, but we're going to make those with some variables too. So once again, always bring these out. Choose rename, and then we're going to have a variable called edge, which is how far it is away from the window. And then we're going to make another variable called gap, which is how much room there is between the windows. We need to bring out a new object remember never duplicate those rename and I'm gonna call this win which is short for window we're gonna make our windows with the box shape make sure you change it into a hole and we're gonna type numbers for this I'm gonna put a 12 for the width and I'm gonna put a height of 10 now the length always needs to be the same size as our building so we're gonna use that variable for the length that way it cuts out perfectly. So we want to put our first window over on this side. So we're going to do a quick move. When you place this in here, we're going to do a little math. Bring out that math chunk. And we want to do that edge amount plus half of our window. So since our window is 12 wide, I'm going to put 6. When I drop that in there and hit play, Check it out, my window is cool this way, but we need to change the height. Remember our building was 20, so I'm gonna try raising it up 10. Let's see if that looks the way I want. And I do like that window, but it's not far enough over yet. Friends, if you look real closely, it's because I forgot to type in my number. So I want my edge to be five, and I want my gap to be 20. Now when we hit play, Bam, just like that, we've got our first window in place. All right, friends, for our second window, duplicate. Bring it down. Break up the math. We need to click on math again and bring out a second math operator. And then this time, we need to add that gap. So real quickly, I'm going to grab this edge chunk and put it over here because we're going to always do edge plus. And then on this one, we need it to be the gap plus six. When we drop that in, we have edge plus gap plus six. Once again, when you pick this up by the math, put it in the X spot. Let's hit play again and check it out. We've got two windows going across our building. We are going to right click and duplicate that. We're going to bring out the math and adjust it again. So break these apart by grabbing the plus and bring the gap so it's alone. Grab a third math piece and change it to times. We need two gaps, so do two times gap. Grab gap and put it in the plus six box. So we got two times gap plus six. Pick up that whole chunk. Notice I'm grabbing close to the math and put it in the left edge. So just saying this out loud for you, edge plus two times gap. Notice how that highlights when I click it, plus the six. Grab it by a math corner. Notice if you grab here, you don't get it all, so I'm going to grab it by the plus, and we're going to put it in the X box. Once again, when we hit play, now we have three windows. Now, friends, it gets super easily duplicate, and this time we want 
three gaps and hit play. Now that's as many windows as we're going to fit with this one, but notice it doesn't line up perfect. Friends, if you change this to 22 and hit play, look at that. That's pretty sweet. That, my friends, is how you adjust your numbers until you get it just the way you want. You could do a little math and make sure it's perfect. I'm happy with this, so let's move on. The final step once you've got your windows is to assemble a building. Once again, we're going to hit modify, create the new object, and we're going to rename it building. Under the building, we want to add copies of our objects. I'm going to duplicate that because I need two copies. Remember, we never duplicate the create new objects. Let's go to data and we need a copy of our frame and we need a copy of our windows. At that point, we can go to modify and we can create our group. So that way it cuts out and then we are going to delete an object. Remember, we have two objects to delete, so I'm going to duplicate that go to my data and we want to delete the original win and we want to delete the original frame friends reset hit play check it out building with cut out windows so say you want a second layer watch this everybody bring down your create group we're just going to add another copy of both of these so right click duplicate and break them apart because we've got to move them up. Let's go back and find a move, drop it underneath the frame. I'm going to move it up to the old height variable. So let's find our data. There's the height. And then I want to do the same thing for the second one. So I'm just going to duplicate that move, connect the window, add the new move, connect it, friends, reset, play, we have instantly got a two-story building and you could use this trick to make any building you want. Now I want to be able to use this in regular Tinkercad. So remember hit export. We want to save it as a part and then I want to name this. So I'm going to say BLDG for building and then I want two levels and eight windows. So that way I can keep track of it. I don't want to lock the part size, I just want to be able to reuse it. If you wanted to make a different style building, friends, click the arrow, find the gear, and duplicate your original building. Now when you launch copy of building one, you would change it to building two, and just go back and adjust your numbers. You can change the number of windows, the size, everything can be adjustable and you would be able to export a second building as you create your awesome projects. Super quickly friends, you can see I jumped into regular Tinkercad. When you hit create new design, when you choose shapes collection, boom, that building is now available. You can bring it in. I'm gonna hold down shift and shrink it to a smaller size and do control D rotate a little bit and start to make an awesome structure out of these awesome little buildings that I just made. You can stretch, adjust, make them any way you want and go back and make more and more so you can reuse them for all your projects. Friends, remember if you make something awesome, you can always hit the collaborate, generate a link, copy a link, and you can share it with me. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. I am HL Mod Tech on all three. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Of course, you can also visit hlmodtech.com. I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad, and I also have the sweet messaging button. Friends, you can click this and reach out to me almost instantly. And finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.